Hi, and welcome to the Northwest Carp and Angler's Diary fishing blog. Today, I'm fishing for barbel on the River Severn at Iron Bridge in Shropshire. Let's start with a quick look at the ground bait and the tactics I'll be using today, followed by a look at my barbel rig and then some of the action from this short four hour session. Let me show you the ground bait I'm using today for me barbel fishing. This is the stuff, method mix, dynamite marine halibut method mix. And I'm just going to mix them up for you now. Um, Put some powder into my bait bucket. Maybe a touch more. That'll do for now. Just get some water. And I'll just go round it with my finger. Just looking to mix it all in. Don't want it too wet. Don't want it too dry. So I'm just going to keep mixing it. What I want is for it to just look like powder, but it will gently squeeze together because it's wet and hold together. So mix it well. I might have put a bit too much water in this actually. And uh, that'll hold together as you can see. Sticks quite well, breaks apart. Still a little wet, but it's not too bad. And it will certainly dry out today because it's a nice warm day. There we go, there's my ground base. Now, oop, to the ground base, I'm going to add some pellets, which are in my buckets here. That's what I'm using, they're mixed trout pellets from uh, Screttings, I think they are, mixed four, six, ten. And there's also some uh, ellipse pellets in there as well. And, uh, I'm gonna put a couple of good handfuls in. As you can see, they'll mix in there quite nicely. There'll be plenty of pellets going in by the feeder as well when we start feeding it in. And then there we go, that's my barbel ground bait ready. Now all I've got to do is get it in the swim.
Right, so let me show you the pellet rig I'm using today. These are the pellets I've got. These are flat profile. Don't know whether you can see that. In the sunshine. They're called ellipse pellets. Now these are the old style ellipse. They have a flat profile, I've still got some left. They don't actually make them like this anymore. Uh, they're now normal pellet shaped like this. So I've not got a lot of these ellipse pellets left but I'm just using up what I have got. And then once it's all gone I'll be using these. And, uh, these ellipse pellets lend themselves ideally to super gluing either side of a hair. You know, they're dead easy to do. So, we'll line them up. Like so. Get some super glue. Dab of glue. That's my hair. And the other pellet will just sit on top, like so. Squash them together. Give it a minute or so. In fact, they're ready now. As you can see, one hook base. Now, put it loose on one side. The rig I'm using today, I've got my super glued pellets on either side. Okay, that's a size 10 Drennan Super Specialist. Old as the hills, these hooks, but absolutely rock solid. Okay, so size 10, the line is £10 Drennan Suplex and it's roughly, it's very long, 4 foot long and at the other end of that 4 foot is my feeder that's a Guru Cage feeder, 2 ounces I don't need a lot of weight to hold bottom today uh, the water's down, there's been no rain so the river's on the bones of its backside at the moment and I don't need a big heavy feeder plus I'm only really fishing in the margins so the feeder's just running there's a bead on the line there feeder's running and then there's a swivel and a quick link there so I can change hook link and as well as fishing with this rig I'll have another rig exactly the same with the pellets already glued on so I can just wind in unclip this rig, clip a new one on and cast out again and I haven't got to sit there making a new hook base so that's basically it for me rig the reason I've got it four foot long if you're wondering because it is uh, where's the other end of it there it is really really long uh, when feed is on the bottom and the line's coming up from the bottom to the rod tip that's the spook point so if there's any barbel in the swim, that line coming up off the bottom there will be what scares them. So I like the bait quite away from the feeder. Apart from the fact that the feeder will get washed out and the bait will get washed downstream, uh, it keeps me hook bait quite away from that line that lifts off the bottom to the rod tip. And that's what I'm looking for. That way hopefully I won't spook any barbel that come in and start feeding. And uh, hopefully if the feed's feeds washed out and washed downstream slightly my hook base will be uh, right smack bang in the middle of it so that's my rig and my tactics for today uh, I've already fed me swim with about 20 feeder fulls I unclipped the rig and just, just used the feeder just kept filling it and dropping it in and I've used up a whole bucket, bucket of uh, well a whole box bait box full of ground bait so I've mixed another one that's going to be what I fish with so I'll get this feeder loaded Get this bait in the water, see if it can catch a barbel.
There we go. Yes, another seven from the seven. Seven pound dead on this one. This just came to two pellets, super glued on the hair. Great fight. There we go. Right, just give him a rest in the margins and then get him back. That looks bigger than the last one. Let's get him weighed. Clean him up a bit. There we go. Eight pound, eight ounces from the River Seven. Cracking fish. He's an absolute beaut. I think that's enough, let's get him back. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at me barbel fishing on the River Severn at Iron Bridge. To surmise, these are the highlights of a four hour evening session. I've mixed up a big box full of dynamite marine halibut ground bait and I've laced it with a few handfuls of mixed pellets. I've fed this into my swim via the Guru cage feeder, then mixed another bait box full of the same to fish with until dark. The two barbel you've seen in this film are just the highlights. I've left the rest out to keep this film short. For the record, I caught two chub, one weighing £3.12 ounces and the other weighing £3.8 ounces. The stars of the show were the barbel, I had fish of £7, £7.8 ounces and £8.8 ounces. So that's five good fish in a four hour evening session on a Saturday afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed the video of my session. Barbel fishing is great fun and great sport and it's well worth giving it a try if you haven't already.
please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching and don't forget to subscribe for me future updates. Until next time, tight lines and be lucky.